movieweb.com. So one of the things I might ask about this great, really funny line, everyone in the theater was laughing um, when, when Joe says, stop yeah. acting like the Queen of England. Yeah, I thought, and you're not the bloody Queen, or you're not the Queen of England, yeah. Was that in the script? Was that improvised? Was that something? No, that, that, that was a, a, a line that Joe and I cooked up uh, as we were waiting, you know, for action. We were sitting in the car and, and um, we were kind of talking about the scene and, and, um, and we came up with that line. And we were going, oh, shall we have to, yeah, let's do it, because, you know, who knows. Um, we gave Taylor a couple of alternatives where we didn't use the line, but um, so he could not use it if he chose to. Um, but yes, that was a line that we improvised. Oh, this is so funny. And what was yeah. it like working with Joe? He's such a powerful actor. We haven't seen him on screen in a while. What was it like? Well, I have to that? say, I was really nervous. I was so um, intimidated with the thought of working with Joe. Because to me, he's one of the great icons of true American cinema, you know, where cinema is purely and fantastically and spectacularly American, as in movies like Casino, Goodfellas, you know, those great, great movies. And it's, you know, and I'm not American, and I, you know, it's not my world, you know, and I've looked at it from the outside and as an actor and, and as an audience member and thought, oh, that's just fantastic as a, you know, a, a, just so much admiration for that. And to find myself now working with one of the icons of those movies was, um, was you know, very intimidating. Uh, um, and of course it transpires that Joe is, is a consummate professional and, and a wonderful actor to work with. I mean, I loved working with him. I loved our scenes together. I felt, you know, only my husband could go, Helen Mirren. You know, or Joe Pesci, who, who could I cast as Joe Pesci's wife? I know, Helen Mirren is like, <laughs> no. Um, but very often, really contradictory things work. And, and I was worried about that, but I, I felt looking at, this, at the film that you believe this couple, you believe them as a couple. Um, it, it didn't seem weird. And uh, your husband, of course, directed the film. When he came to you and said, "Hey, I'm going to make a movie about legal legalized brothels," and you know, what was your reaction to that? And was it always sort of uh, that you would play this part, or how did he kind of get you? I, you know, I can't quite remember how he suggested, but he did say, you know, there. Are, he had been looking for a script for us to do together for a long time, and um, and I think he said, you know, Mark Jacobson, the writer, was a friend of his, and and had told him about this this script. Taylor was aware of the story, and I think he, his ears immediately perked up, and, and he probably thought, hmm, I wonder if that would be good for Helen, and that might be something we could do together. And then he kind of really pursued it, and, you know, found the financing. I mean, it, it was, this is very, very much Taylor's baby, right all the way through everything. Um, and I think when he suggested it to me and he told me, he didn't say I want to do a film about a brothel. He said there was this story that happened in the 1970s. It's based on a true story and this was the story. He's a great storyteller, my husband. So whenever he tells me a story, I get sucked in. Um, and, um, and it sounded great. I loved the sound of it, you know, a wonderful story, a romantic, unexpected, strange romantic story. Um, so my God, who could say no?